and uh, reflects on it and contemplate on it to take it. This is the way we take the knowledge from outside. They Allah Azza wa Jalla give them the give to those to such people the knowledge and those the, those the people whom Allah Azza wa Jalla say about alladina utul ain those Allah Azza wa Jalla has given them the knowledge and this procedure is free from the procedure of the wahi it can be before the wahi Allah Azza wa Jalla of course uh, present to us many knowledge through the wahi, through the messenger. But this is not the only way of the ilm. There is Allah Azza wa Jalla uh, present knowledge to the people in many ways other than wahi. قُلْ إِنْ كُنْتُ عَلَىٰ بَيِّنَةٍ مِنْ رَبِّي وَآتَانِي مِنْهُ رَحْمَةً Allah Azza wa Jalla uh, mentions to, to the many ways of the knowledge. First of all, we have uh, an innate nature to understand uh, the ayat of Allah Azza wa Jalla, the ayat uh, which, is, which are around us. The moon is ayah of Allah Azza wa Jalla. The sun is one of the ayat of Allah Azza wa Jalla. Uh, even we are ourselves the one of the biggest ayah ayat of Allah Azza wa Jal, everything the one anyone can reflect on one of them and can understand the truth and can take the knowledge from them and because of that Allah Azza wa Jal say in al-ladhina utul ilma min qablihi idha yutla alayhim yakhiruna lil afqan sujada those who did uh, uh, take the knowledge from Allah Azza wa Jal or who did search the knowledge and because of that Allah Azza wa Jalla has given them the knowledge before the wahi, before the kitab, before the book إِذَا يُتْلَى عَلَيْهِمْ whenever you, when you uh, recite to them the ayat of Allah Azza wa Jalla when they he hear the ayah what will, what will they do? they prostrate themselves as soon as they hear the ayah يَخِرُّونَ الْأَثْقَانِ سُجَّدَى وَيَقُولُونَ سُبْحَانَ رَبِّنَا إِنْ كَانَ وَعْدُ رَبِّنَا لَمَفْعُولًا As soon as they, they hear the ayah, they understand it. And they have, they prepared themselves with the ilm before the wahi. And when they hear the ayah, they accept it immediately. Because they have the preparation. Uh, they already reached to that knowledge with their innate nature. Like Abu Zar radiallahu an. He understands that there is no God other than the Creator, the only one Creator. And he was worshipping to him before the Prophet ﷺ. And when he heard about him, he immediately rushed to Mecca and find, found the uh, Prophet ﷺ and believed to him. Because he had the knowledge. Allah Azza wa Jalla has given to him the knowledge before the Wahi. Why? Allah Azza wa Jalla give, has given to him the knowledge and the other not because he was searching for the knowledge. This is the key uh, in the sunnah of Allah Azza wa Jalla, in the rule of Allah Azza wa Jalla, to whom he gives the knowledge and to whom he uh, does not. So, al-ilm, the, the wahi is one of the way of the ilm. Uh, the book of the uh, one of the way of the ilm and it is the certain way and we have many ways other than uh, the kitab other than the wahi we should use them all because Allah Azza wa Jalla command us to use them uh, even though in the book of Allah, Allah Azza wa Jalla uh, he uh, commands us when he say astaghfiru billah أَلَمْ تَرَوْ كَيْفَ خَلَقَ اللَّهُ سَبْعَ سَمَاوَاتٍ طِبَاقًا When Nuh السلام, Noah, when he was uh, talking to his people, when he was presenting to them the wahi of Allah Azza wa Jalla, he said to them, did you see how Allah Azza wa Jalla created the heavens? Do not see the heavens, do not see 
how Allah Azza wa Jalla wa Ja'ala al-Qamara fihinna nura created uh, the moon as a nur and do not see Allah Azza wa Jalla created the sun and do not see Allah Azza wa Jalla created you ما لكم لا ترجون لله وقارا وقد خلقكم أطوارا الله هو الله عز وجل created you in many stages which there is no resemblance between them it's incredible how Allah عز وجل created do not see giving yourself to understand such things it's the علم it's making علم يعلمون. So we should understand the ayah as a verb. الذين يعلمون who make علم who do علم. How can we do علم? How can we 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 reach to the علم? We know the way. When you search it, when you sacrifice your time, when you contemplate, when you reflect reflect on it, this is the way of علم. And if you do that, Allah Azza wa Jalla will give you the علم. This is the Sunnah of Allah Azza wa Jal. وَلَا تَقْفُ مَا لَيْسَ لَكَ بِهِ عِلْمٌ إِنَّ السَّمَعَ وَالْبَصَرَ وَالْفُؤَادَ كُلُّ أُولَئِكَ كَانَ عَنْهُمْ مَسْؤُولًا And it is mandatory. You cannot say, I am free from doing علم. I will follow that person. So I do not need علم. I will follow him and will do whatever he say. He is the one who do, does علم and I am only follower. Cannot say that Allah Azza wa Jalla prohibited us from doing such things. It's not right way to follow somebody else blindly. You should do yourself. You should do ilm. This is mandatory for everyone in this life, and that is why Allah Azza wa Jalla has given for everyone ears, eyes and minds and hearts we are all of us every single person is responsible to do ilm to reflect on the things that Allah Azza wa Jalla created so the people who does ilm if the person who says that he is only follower if he if he will be excused uh, then Allah Azza wa Jalla should excuse the Quraysh also. The people of Quraysh, they said, Inna alfayna aba'ana ala ummatin. We did found our forefathers uh, on a religion and we are only followers. We will not reason it. We will only follow them. We should ask, will Allah Azza wa Jalla excuse them? No. Allah Azza wa Jalla blame them. In the sight of Allah Azza wa Jalla, there is no one uh, has more crime than the one who uh, does not use his heart, his eyes and his ears who do not contemplate this is the evil most evil one in the sight of Allah Azza wa Jal. Allah Azza wa Jalla blame them and uh, he says that those two people innahum alfa wa abaahum dalleen after mentioning the ayat of Jahannam after mentioning the fire of hell Allah Azza wa Jalla mentioned the dwellers of the hell and say innahum alfa wa abaahum dalleen those the people who found their forefathers on uh, a wrong way, uh, Balin, who has gone astray, and those the people who follow them, who rush to follow them without any uh, consideration, without any reasoning, without any contemplating. So Allah Azza wa Jal, uh, this is not a fantastic thing for us to do ilm, to make ilm. No, it's mandatory. Maybe some people can do more than others. Maybe some people uh, has 
uh, some works and do uh, and because of that they are maybe busy with them their work but it doesn't mean that he will he do not any knowledge no he, also in that case he has to do some knowledge maybe little than the other one but he has to you have you have you must have share from doing knowledge from making knowledge first of all you should do knowledge uh, as well as uh, to understand Allah Azza wa Jalla to know your Lord you should do knowledge to understand your deen you have not uh, uh, work uh, more important than uh, understand your creation understand your life Allah Azza wa Jalla providing us our sustenance he uh, guaranteed to provide us our sustenance but we should do make ilm to understand Allah Azza wa Jalla and to understand uh, the truth the fundamental truth of this universe we should do something الَّذِينَ يَعْلَمُونَ doing something not sitting uh, over there هَلْ يَسْتَوِي الَّذِينَ يَعْلَمُونَ and because of this uh, importance Allah Azza wa Jalla asked us are they equal those who do knowledge who make knowledge and those who do not the answer is in the question so this question is not looking for us answer the answer in it everyone when they read the ayah they understand the answer Allah Azza wa Jalla will not deal with them equally they are not equal one of them is white and the other one is uh, black there is more difference uh, between them they are widely different at this point we should ask ourselves why Allah Azza put this question right here there should be in previous ayats there should be someone who is an example for the people who does not know ilm and there should be someone for the person who do ilm, who make ilm. There should be two pictures in the previous ayat uh, because Allah Azza wa asked this question. And we can uh, realize it, we can see it uh, simply when we look to the ayah number 8. insana durun, The one whom Allah Azza wa Jalla take him to do adversity whom Allah Azza wa Jalla sent, sent to him uh, the hardship. What was he, he, he doing? He was turning to his Lord and crying to him and wants uh, from him to relieve him and many more. And after Allah Azza wa Jalla relieved him, he was